static friction we have discussed friction in the previous video in this video i am going to teach you about the static friction let's consider that an object is present on the earth surface if you push this object in this direction but the object doesn't move at all here the question is why this push doesn't create acceleration in the body the answer is very simple it is because if you push the body with the force of 10 newton in this direction then there is another horizontal force which acts in the opposite direction with the same magnitude of 10 newton force hence according to newton law here forces are balanced and the body doesn't accelerate at all now here what should i call this opposite force in physics well this opposite force came into existence due to interaction between the object and the earth as i told you in the previous video when two bodies interact there exists a frictional force between them now this opposite force is a static frictional force remember that our push tries to create motion in this object while the static force prevent this stationary object to start moving thus remember that when we push objects and they do not move it is because of static friction now let me explain further the concept of static friction let consider two objects on the ground if i push this body with a force of 20 newton and it doesn't move while i do not push this body can you tell me which body experiences a static frictional force well this body experiences a static frictional force while this body doesn't experience any static frictional force or we can say that here static frictional force is zero now if i push this body with 20 newton force then there is another horizontal static frictional force of 20 newton in the opposite direction the static frictional force only exists when we push or pull a body and the body doesn't accelerate in the direction of force when we do not push or pull a body like in this case then there exists no frictional force now here if i increase the magnitude of my pushing force to 30 newton and if the body still doesn't move it means that the static frictional force also increases to a magnitude of 30 newton force at last if i increase my pushing force to 31 newton the body starts moving in this direction now here the question is why this body now starts moving the answer is that forces on the body are unbalanced the static frictional force can only resist 30 newton pushing force if the pushing force exceeds from 30 newton like 31 newton force the static frictional force would no longer prevent the body from moving as a result the body will accelerate in the direction of force hence remember that this 30 newton force is known as a maximum static friction maximum static friction is a frictional force that prevents a body to maximum extent from moving for example if a body is on the table i say that the maximum static friction force between the body and the table is 50 newton then this means that even 49 newton force will not create acceleration in this body but if you push this object with 51 newton force you exceed the magnitude of maximum static frictional force as a result the body will start moving i hope you have learned the concept of static friction thank you for watching this video